Hello everyone, this is Dark Dragon, and welcome to Let's Play Constructor, the demo. This is just a demo, but I thought it would be cool to check out. Making games since 1982. I'm not actually even sure what this game is. I just was like, cool, let's check it out. Let's do this. It's a video game, so I'm down to play it. I like to play everything, especially indie games. There's a worm. Mob guy. Putting down the constructor. Oh, Ace of Spades. Uh oh. That's not a good way to go. Wow, that looks gross. Oh no. He would not be bobbing up and well, I guess if he was jumping. Man, that would be a pretty terrible way to die. Wow, that guy's a gimp. Okay. Gimp, a zombie, a clown, a hippie. What the heck is this game? Wow. Tutorial. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Interesting music. So, you think you can make it in the world of constructed? Your predecessor yeah. wasn't up to the job. You think you oh, can no. the demands of the city housing authority and the mob, let alone those annoying tenants. And the mob? Hey, I'll be in hot water if I don't explain some of the basics to you. Your ever important some of the basics. is controlled by using the left stick. You can push scroll the map by moving to the sides of the screen. All right. Hey, there's no fooling you, huh, kid? You can move the camera view around using the right stick on its own. Hey, why don't you have a look around now? Wow. You can zoom right out by holding R2 and pulling down on the right stick. Well done. Hey, All right. You know, as as wow, look, this is a huge area. By holding R2 and pushing up on the right stick. This is your HQ, center of all things important. You all right. Protect it like it was one of your own. If this all right. Down, it'll be curtains for you. But don't worry, we'll dig you a nice grave in the yard. Instead of standing around picking your nose, get going by selecting this guy. Point your cursor at his feet and press the X button. This is your Jack. foreman. You'll need him to build your property empire. He'll okay. His work team to do all the hard work for you while he files the risk assessments. All right. You can move him around by pointing where you want him to go and pressing square. Right -o. And here they come. Right -o. Your workers have finally gotten out of bed to do some hard work. Send your foreman to the beacon we've just placed outside the HQ entrance by pointing and pressing the square button. His work team will whoa, always whoa. tag along. Righto. That was a long walk, eh? Every foreman huh? can have a work group of up to five workers. If you have a full group, they'll be far more efficient. What so you better the hell is this? To this guy's team. Select the flashing work team button and make the group up to five workers. Select spare workers on the right to fill the team up to five. And then choose the flashing group selection icon to bring them together. Good job! Hey, you'll get me idea with these flashing icons, eh? Now let's exit this screen. Okay, enough of all this goofing off. It's time to do some building. Let's start by placing your first building site. So let's head on over to the real estate agent. 
to the real estate the agent. The lumber yard will be your first resource, which is handy for a moron like you. <laughs> a moron? How dare you? For your future buildings. Try finding a legal position to place the site by moving a the legal position around. You can tell which land you own because it's glowing your team color. Position the cursor over where you want to build. If the cursor is red, then it's not a legal position. <laughs> the arrows show which direction the gate will face. Take a look at that. A brand spanking new building site. To view the site, okay. press X while hovering oh, over the footings. To start working on this building, bring your men onto the site. This can be done by simply clicking on the call work team icon. I did. You can just tell your foreman to walk his sorry feet over there. Watch them build. It's a real delight. If these guys keep up their day job, they'll gain experience and become much more reliable. Congratulations. You have finished your first lumber yard. To restock it, move a work team into the building. The lumber yard All will right. be your source of wood for years to come. Press X while hovering over the building foundations, or click the new icon that's appeared on the left-hand side of wow, the Wow, cool. To speed up wood production, you can call a second team into the building. Up to 10 units of wood. Almost there. Just get it up to 10 units. The guy talking yeah, changed with the same the voice. <laughs> now we got enough wood to start building our next property. Go to the real estate agent to see your new choices. Alright, okay. Choices of kind of weird create. for a console on game, but alright. Home. Whoop. You now have access to three low-grade tenant houses. We want you to build a log cabin that will fit neatly beside your lumber yard. You can change the uh, what a pleasant place to live. The directional buttons. Press the X button to place the site. Well, that one squeezed in real nice. Now you need to call a work team to finish the job. If your teams are busy, click on your foreman using X and move him to the site by pointing and clicking square. While people right. are inside a building, a flag appears outside. You can click on the base of this brown flag using X to select him. Oh, okay. Hey. Righto. Oh, okay, like he's already got those guys. Yeah, we should have this new house slapped together in no time. Slap it together, boys. Well done. Your first home has been completed and is ready to be rented out for the first time. This is Even not what I was expecting at all, but it's pretty cool. Choices in the future. Congratulations on your first tenant house, even if it is a bit, uh, drab. To look inside and choose a tenant, hover your pointer over the base of the building and press X. This place is obviously empty. To put a tenant wow, in house, inappropriate name. on the appoint tenant icon. There are five levels of tenant, from the riffraff to the upper crust. I'm afraid you're scraping the bottom of the barrel at this stage. Wow, that guy is... Fat. Take this iffy looking pair. They got plenty of money. Greasers. They quickly enough and might damage your property. Okay. I think we better use the other couple. Hey, Slides you. We'll do exactly what we need. Breed like rabbits to create extra workers and tenants. Well, <laughs> they've moved in and made themselves at home. Don't you love what they've done with the decor? You can find out what, what these tenants like and don't like by clicking on their picture. Well, they're gonna die in 1984 days, and it's dropping.
These slobs are the lowest level of tenant you can get. They're good for breeding quickly, are pretty noisy, and can cause problems for their neighbors. But as long okay. as you don't annoy them, they can be fairly self-contained, and they don't expect too much in the way of luxuries. These areas give you information about the house and its tenant. Hover your point over each of the areas to find out more info. Okay. Use the directional buttons to move no babies between yet. icons. What's this? Okay, what's this? Development on which the house is built, okay. These guys are up to date on their rent, but we need to expand our empire and breed more workers. Click on the worker icon to have them start breeding a worker instead. Wow, okay. There you go. Your bundle of joy is on its way. <laughs> this is a weird mechanic. This display shows you how long before your worker will report for duty at your HQ. To make wow, your not too long. More, uh, active in the bedroom and deliver your children quicker, I suggest you upgrade their bedroom. Click upgrade on the bedroom. Decorate rooms button. There are four rooms in this pad. Whoa, Each cool. Has a benefit, such as uh, increasing life expectancy, relieving stress, reducing repairs, and the drawers behind the stove. You can't open right that. Now. Please select the bedroom. Can I look at the other rooms? That's cool. Weird bathroom. Why? Dumb. There are several stages for each room that must be better. Oh place. wow! Look at that so carpet. Upgrade room to start redecorating. You'll need to call the work team inside the building to complete the upgrade. Excellent. All right. Your team has completed the. That's quite the remodel. Doesn't that look better? Hopefully, it will have the desired effect. Let's go back to the main screen. And better, see how yes, it good. Well, it doesn't look that bad. You'll notice that the birth rate has improved. That is the inside this house. <laughs> round, the quicker the next baby will appear, just like in real the life. The next baby. They do slow down as they produce more children, but the happier they are, the quicker they breed. And the more rent they are willing to pay. I had a baby. Everyone wants a nice yard to go with their house. So let's start by improving the fence. At the moment, you only have a limited selection of fences available. This tenant particularly likes the privet hedge, of course. Please select and purchase it. You'll need to get those lazy workers off their coffee break and out into the yard to do some work. You better call them back out. Yeah, you better get back out here. Each fence has a different defensive ability. As well as defensive. Pleasing to your tenants. That looks much better and will keep your tenant happy. Now, let's leave the house and have a look around. Eh? All right. You can quickly see what each house is producing. Rent, workers, or more tenants. As shown by the floating icon above the house. If something else is wrong, it'll be shown there instead. All right. Now we need to teach you how to look interesting after developments. Let's introduce you to one of our other characters, the repairman. Please select this fine gentleman over here. Your no, what do you really want? Knows how to what do you want? Wrench. If you switch on auto repair, he will circle around all of your buildings in his current development, repairing them one after another for you. Bada bing. On the other hand, you can manually prioritize his work by moving him inside a particular building. Once the property is in immaculate condition, eh, he'll move on to his next job. All right. Okay. Who's this motherfucker? Like he's up to no good. What do I do? What the hell are you doing? Someone has stolen some resources from your site in Katie Swallow's development. It might not be too late to catch him and get them back. Too late. He's what disappeared the down your subway station and looks like he's stolen all your wood. 
You'll need to restock that place. Get one of your teams back inside your lumber yard. All right. Take right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's Foreman? Quit moving. Okay, all right, calm down. It's so finicky when you try to move it just a little bit. So here's the foreman. Hi. So how do I? Okay, there we go. So how do I get these guys to? Yeah. Just put them there. Yeah. Yeah, looks like something's going on in here. Let's have a look inside the house. What are you doing? Some people are never happy. They sent a complaint letter to the housing authority. Click on their heads to see what's wrong. Hey, your factory has been going day and night. We can't stand the noise anymore. Close it down for a while or give us double pane windows. You have 346 days, so almost a year. Yeah, I'll get right on that. You're obviously not happy living next to a loud factory. Better keep them happy by getting your work team out of the factory. Better just take them over here. Yeah, that was easy to deal with. They're not always so simple. No matter how much you have, it's never enough. It's never I enough. Think you need to buy some extra land for your next building project. Please select the world map icon. Use the directional buttons to browse through the available developments or click on them directly. The larger the development, the more expensive it'll be. Please select the brump. How do I know how much? Oh, okay, I have 140,000. Now buy the development by clicking on the buy development. Select button. what? Use the directional buttons to browse okay, this the one. available developments. Or click on them directly. The larger the development, the more expensive it'll be. Please select the brump development. Now that we got some more land, Oops. you can finally build your next home. Go back to your real estate agent and see what's available. All right, what now do we got? Time to create another tenant home. Once you have created at least one of each, it will unlock more varieties. Please select a simple lodge this time. Okay, now you can place this lodge anywhere in your new development. You'll see that you can orient the house by moving it closer to one side than the other. Or you can cycle through the directions by pressing square. Once All you're right. happy with the position, press X to place it. Now, get those work right on site to finish the building. And work, and work, and work, and work. Build that lodge. This is a pretty fun game. It's not really... I didn't really know what to expect at all, but I wasn't expecting a... I don't know what these are called, like a strategy building game? Now you need to put a this is actually this pretty cool. Lodge. Please use the slob tenants as before. Why can't I choose whatever I want? Why are we doing the same ones? Hello. Hey, you! Each tenant has a certain life expectancy. You have a limited number of tenants, so you must breed more to guarantee they'll be ready when you need them. Well, they're loud. Please instruct your new tenants to breed a level one tenant. Oh, okay. Well done. Now, to speed up the breeding process, you should improve their bedroom, like last time. Oh, it just looks the same. Do, 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 do. Now please improve their fence to keep them happy. A picket fence would look very nice. A 
picket fence. Here you go, people. Get to work. Okay, if you're ready to move on, then we need to build the final low grade property. A Soweto a larger yard Oops, sorry. to please your tenant more and make it easier to decorate with objects. You can expand the edges of the plot by holding R2 and pressing the directional buttons. Once you're happy with the location of your Soweto hut, place it by pressing X. Now get one of your work. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You'll need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before I work have. continues. All right, I'll do it. What's this guy? Oh, nice. Why is only one guy coming? Hey, right. Yeah. I thought there was a way to group them, but I'm not yeah. seeing that. Maybe you have to have a, another foreman. Hello, I found. There's still these two guys, too. Click, click. This button. I can't press it. Oh, well. Due to the high quality of your shack, the Housing Authority Surveyor is gonna let you build some Actual houses after you built the cement yard. Wow, we now needs a tenant who will start paying us rent. We have a business to run and we need to make money. Please select the greaser. Right All right, right that's not what I wanted. Right oh, there's more. Hello. It is possible to force tenants to pay more rent. Doing this will make them less happy, which may cause you problems, so be careful. Now, let's increase their rent by at least 25%. To make sure you keep track of what's going oh, on in wow. the outside world when you're inside a building, you can turn not much the rent. radar on or off by pressing R1. Well, wow, give it a try before you exit the house. Should I remodel? No? Okay. To look after these new houses, please select your other repairman. Move him to the Brompton development and set him auto repair. How do I set him on auto repair now? All right. Uh, wrong button. There we go. I think it's time to buy another larger development to give you room to expand your empire. Oh, okay. Please buy Beaver Brook Development on the world. Beaver Brook Development. After building all the level one tenant houses, you can now build a cement factory on your new plot of land. Select the cement factory via the real estate agent and build this now. Let's put this over here. Now it's time to finish the building. Get one of your work teams on site and start building. Hey, right on. See, there's only three. Start building. Right Oh, okay. The cement works has been finished and is now up and running. 
Now start some real buildings. We ought to get another one of those repairmen to circle this development. Eh, but we don't have any spare ones. And this is a long Here's tutorial. New ones in your HQ. If you click on the HQ icon in the top left using the square button, it'll scroll the map to its location. Alternatively, using the X button will take you straight inside. Oh, okay. This is your HQ screen which allows you to monitor how many people and tenants you currently have or are in production. In here, you can also convert workers into other characters. Convert three spare workers into a repairman by clicking the icon. Three into one? Seems janky, now, but all right. New repairman to auto repair on the Beaver Brook development. Right. Is that what the is that what the box is auto repair? All right. Nobby fart. <laughs> we now need a gadget factory to start manufacturing products and keep your tenants happy. Select the gadget factory and place it in your new development. Okay, gadget factory. Will it go back here? No, not enough room. Alright, yeah, we'll run it across the hole. But I want it to face this way. There we go. Now get one of your work teams on site to finish this building. Right hey, now, hi. Right. Hang on. There's another foreman right here. Hello? There we go. Right now. You don't have enough resources to finish the building. You'll need to send a reward to get a resource to restock it before work continues. Right oh wait, no, I need some men. All right, make some cement. <laughs> Gadgies. Allowing houses and yards to start being improved. Gadgets for houses, such as computers to create the next level of tenants, will soon be available. That sentence needed some more punctuation. The factory can be accessed by either clicking on its footprint or clicking on the gadget factory icon on the left. This. Welcome to your gadget factory. Here you can build many items to enhance the interior and exterior of your houses. Plant trees in your tenants' yards will give them the shade they need to dodge sun rays. It'll stop them complaining too. Select the trees icon and then click again to add I cannot it to believe how long this the is. Here in the bottom right corner shows the number waiting to be produced. You'll need to call a work team into the building to complete the production. Those are not trees. It's a shame money doesn't grow on trees that quick, eh? Now that yeah. they are in stock, you can choose where to place them by clicking the deliver icon. Please put two trees in a single yard. Use X to place a marker, and the delivery man will bring it to the site shortly. Just make sure it's in a legal position in the yard. Once you've placed all objects that you want to, press circle to exit the mode. Oh yeah, I can smell their green thumbs from here. Now return to the gadget factory to see what else will improve your tenants' lives. More gadgets are now available. The Hokey Cokey 2000 is a state-of-the-art personal computer which will enrich child education. Build lots of computers, so we can start producing better tenants. Now let's get one of these delivered to your posh Soweto hut. Select the deliver button to have your delivery guy personally transport it. Target the Soweto hut and press square to begin the delivery. <laughs> oh, packages. Oh, yes, packages. Plug and play. Let's go inside and check the gadget screen to see if they've turned it on correctly. G 
Jeez, you can really see the 256 colors in all their glory. Gadgets <laughs> can also be collected by the tenant himself to avoid waiting for a delivery. Now with the computer installed, this property is able to produce next level tenants. Please select the level 2 tenant birth type. Okay. This is weird. This level 2 tenant will be the perfect choice for our state of the art bungalow. So let's go build one while we wait for the whippersnapper to grow up. Bungalow, you say? Resources to finish the building. Oh you no! You need to send the work team back to the resource to restock it before work continues. What are Damn you it! It's the wrong guy. Hello, oh baby, I've always wanted a bungalow. Get your work team on site to build it. I'm gonna let it build some lumber first. Only four? Alright. That's not the guy I want. Well... Hello. No! That's... So how do I access the... Is it just showing that they're being made? has halted an enemy spy has wandered on what? site we need to get rid of him this as red soon guy as possible your workers can attack any enemy character select one of your workers and then hover over the enemy and press square right. to attack alternatively Boy. you can select multiple characters by lassoing them beat him Job. Now to just finish the building work. Yes. His body will be cemented into the foundation of these people's house. Tenant for this little box. Select either of the level two tenants. Punks or students. The choice is yours. Punks or students. Listen, you. Repro. I don't Wait. know what that means. Listen, you. These guys will happily pay their rent every month, but uh, there are nice. other ways of making money. Like this wallpaper. Yeah, step outside and check. Things in constructor aren't always above board. A good oh, way to really? is to steal someone else's hard-earned assets and then sell them quickly before someone comes knocking. To take over a property, first select one of your foremen. Whoa. Now take your foreman to the to the beacon outside the gate of the enemy house uh -huh. by hovering over the beacon and I pressing have. square. Onward to attack. Target your foreman at this house by hovering over the footprint and pressing square. Over the footprint. Hey, right on. Yeah, you. Once he's demolished the entire fence, <laughs> well, the house will be yours. Fuck your fence. Jeez, Mario, the enemy's cousin, happens to be in town, and he doesn't look happy. I think you might be saying hello to his little yeah. friends. <laughs> Get to attacking. Sorry, I walked you right into that one. 
It seems it's not always that easy. Hopefully they well. can get back together. Luckily these foremen are a bit like cats, although without nine lives. Construction meets corruption, I like that. Gonna need some underhand tactics Says that up here. Time to introduce you to the undesirables. Now we have access to the hippie commune, home of <laughs> Dimwit. Let's get one of those slapped together quick. All right, this is going to go on for a while, obviously, so I'm going to end this. Uh, this is a really interesting game. I'll probably play some more, but I don't know if I'll record more. It's not much of a watching game, I don't think. I mean, if you want to see more, comment and let me know, but I probably won't record more. But thank you for watching. Please leave me a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Share it with anyone you think might like it. And this is Dark Dragon signing off.